I come before you with contrite heart. Humbly I surrender all that I am. I want to learn from you. Please draw me close to you. Help me share your love and grace in all I do. Lord, I come before you with contrite heart. Humbly I surrender all that I am. I want to learn from you. Please draw me close to you. Help me share your love and grace in all I do. Shine a light to a darkened world And always hear the truth in every way May your love for me be seen by everyone And lead others to trust and love you more Happy to be back here at New Life Unplugged. Um, for most of us who 
had some time to one of the outdoors. We can say this was a party. Okay. Um, I'm sure many of us we drank our amounts of water. You know, I myself, I'm feeling a bit drained from the day. Uh, but by the grace of God, we can be refreshed in His presence. And on this note, we want to welcome you to another session of Adventist Youth Life. And as usual, we have some of our friends or guests here with us. Um, I'm sure you remember Toby from last week. And we have a new person who is joining us this week that we are happy to have her. And I repeat that you are going to give her a warm Youth Life welcome. Yeah. But before we get started, we want to ask God's blessing on our program tonight. So on this note, we want to ask that you bow your heads with us as Travis gives us the opening prayer. All right, let's pray. Then, Heavenly Father, we come before your presence. Thank you, Father, for everything that you've done for each and every one of us. Guide us, protect us, and help us through this hard day. Father, we pray that you continue to be with us as we speak about this topic. Help us, Father, to speak with clarity. Help those who are listening to understand and remember and put it into practice. Forgive us our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Bless us all through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. 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 No, friends, we need. Your extra help this evening. You don't know, we, we must have it tonight um, in the secular world. Yeah. There, there, there's going to be a lot happening. I'm sure social media will be alive, a blaze, on fire. And I know many of our good Christian friends will be bombarded. But tonight we have you live on, and we want to send it, we want to share it, we want to invite every single person tonight. So, friends, last week we had a big challenge. But tonight we even have a greater challenge. Yes. So probably every 30 minutes we're asking that you share, you invite, you like, you make a comment, make a post on your page. Because as Satan is at work, you know, as God's people, we have to be at work as well. And tonight we want to start our program off as usual by singing, praising God, you know, setting the atmosphere for worship. Uh, but before we do so, we're going to give our friends a chance to introduce ourselves, tell us her name, where she's from. And probably Good night, everyone. My name is Alinda Joseph. I am from Marigat St. John. I attend the Grand Rise Seventh day Adventist Church. And I am currently attending the University of the Southern Caribbean in Trinidad and Tobago. Very nice, very nice, but um, you, you, you didn't speak as it was your first time. You need yeah. to speak nice and natural, you know. Thank you. And that's that's another fact. Uh -huh. It's the younger sister to Alanda. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. You see yeah. the yeah. I was just about to say that, man. We, we have two sisters with us tonight, you know. Mm -hmm. They need a blessing. Yeah. Now, since last week, we had a, a special um, hymn request for this week. Mm -hmm. um, I think it was by Sister Dalisha. Oh, yeah. Dalisha. Okay. Dalisha. I'm trying to remember what was the, the name of the, the song that she sent. Mm -hmm. um, but hopefully, we, we're going to remember it or find it a, a, a bit later during our song service mm -hmm. and um, we, we're going to honor that request for her. Amen. Our first song tonight is going to be hymn number 434 and that comes from Kel Batis.
Well, my week has been occupied various activities, one after the other. We have had um, Sunday was a vacation Bible school graduation, and then Monday was the annual sports day, and then Tuesday we had a bus trip, mm. and then I had to be prepared for two exams placement. So oh. it was very occupied, and you know, right, right, I was. So. Acting for the whole week. Very busy week. Yeah, yeah. Well, well yes. my week was um it was a mixed blessing and a lot of challenges, but you know, by the grace of God I overcame and so I have survived and I, I really look forward to you know what the Sabbath has in store, you know, by the grace of God. So mm -hmm. you know we are all here, we are all alive, and for those of you who are viewing, I'm sure that you you all had different weeks, different experiences, some days up, some days down. But at the end of the day, God is the one who keeps us in balance, he keeps us in check. And we want to praise him tonight for that. Amen. So we want to remember Sister Dolisha's request from last week. Yeah. Um, 633. 633. So, so we're going to sing that song right now. Okay. And while we're getting ready for that song, we will just want to say happy Sabbath to who? Francis Hamlet. Mm -hmm. Lynn Fleming. Mm -hmm. Marva Matthew. Rachel Jerome Graham. Mm -hmm. Lydia Joseph. Uh -huh. Sylvia Lalit. Lena Gilbert and Lambert Paul, Solomon Sosa, Amanda Ross, Mr. Frankie Noel, Ria Pierre Sylvester, mm -hmm. Nicholas Stevens, yeah. Stedlin Isaac, Felicia Roberts, Nadia Julian. Oh, yeah, so we, we have a lot of friends that we just yes. tonight, and tonight, tonight. we're very happy that you joined us. And we look forward, you know, for you being tuned with, with us for the entire night. Amen. And by the grace of God, we're going to have much more friends joining us in a bit. Amen. Amen.
Facebook, YouTube, Instagram. You name it, where so you have your friends. Whether you hold them out, you want to pick up your landline and call somebody, tell somebody. Good things are happening at the Mission Life page with our Adventist Youth Life page. We want to share for the next 20 or so seconds. So, you ready tonight? Amen. At the count of three, going. Yes. One, two, three. All right, let's share the page. Every single person on your contact, I'm sharing. One, two, three, four. Right, let's share it on WhatsApp, Facebook, every single way that we possibly can. While right. we are sharing, I just want to say good night to Mr. Martin Batiste. You know, he has just tuned in. Mm -hmm. I doubt he has ever um, witnessed this his live show. So, welcome tonight, Mr. Batiste. Yes. And we have Desiree Williams also tuning in. Amen, amen. All right, friends, let's share, let's share. We have just about five more seconds remaining. Share as much as you can. I want you to tell us how many contacts you have shared in all that link with tonight. Tonight, we want to challenge ourselves. All right, our time is up. We get ready for our next song. Mm -hmm. And Sister Alana, what will be our next song for tonight? Our next song um, was requested by Charmin Behari, mm -hmm. 604. All right, 604. Vincent, mm -hmm. and we have um, we are from Barbados. 
We have some of our beta friends with us tonight. We have Marsha Phil tuning in. Um, we want to say thanks for joining us. Happy Sabbath to you. Yes. And we have, who we have here? Rhonda Cornwall. We have Rhonda Cornwall and she has a request of him 100. We also have Florence Samuel and she's coming on the scene beautiful. Amen. We thank God give God glory and we look forward for you to continue your know, support and even your singing with us tonight. Amen. So we get ready for our next song. Four eight six. Shall be the 
Um, so we are, again, are very, very happy to have our friends showing with us tonight. Indeed, your company, although not physical, through cyberspace, mm -hmm. you know, we feel it. And we very, very much appreciate it. So tonight you're going to sing um, Solomon Sosa 388. We have just about four or five more minutes to wrap up our singing. So we're going to feel about five. Oh, okay. Should we do that? Yeah. Five strong in five minutes. <laughs> Save the time and let's go. <laughs> All right. Oh, 
Caring. Uh, you have three seven three. I'm caring strong. Seeking the loss. Amen. And I think that was also um, requested by um, Ken, Ken as well. Mm -hmm. Alright, so we came into those one soon.
family 
because we're a family and these are so near when one has a heartache we all share a tear and rejoice in the victory in this family so To the house of the king, no longer an outcast, a new song I sing. From rags on to riches, from the weak to the strong, I'm not worthy to be here, but praise God I Adventist Youth Life Unplugged. You know, we just had um, a marvelous session of worship. We had um, a medley where we sang, you know, one stanza songs. And, you know, I think um, our viewing audience really appreciated it. And those of us in the studio, we were indeed blessed by it. And uh, we were happy to be a part of it. Um, at this time, friends, you know, we want to um, just give an introduction into what we are going to be doing tonight. Now, last week, as you remember, we had a very, very, very interesting topic as we spoke about spiritism. And the topic for last week was dabbling in the unknown. And this week we want to have a follow-up, a part two. And um, we'll be having, our topic will be, our topic is dabbling in the unknown, part two. Um, so as we get ready to, you know, nicely transition into this week's topic, um, we just want to recap briefly in terms of what we touched last week so that we can build on it this week. So spiritism. Let me see if anybody could um, remember what was the definition of spiritism last week. <laughs> Come on, students. Anybody remember what was, it, what was the, um, the definition? Um, we had a very interesting definition of spiritism. I can't remember the exact word for word definition, but it was along the lines of us as physical beings interacting with the spiritual beings. Very nice. Very nice. And we use a special word. Mm. It was in corporeal. Mm. That's right, that's right. So, so, so in a nutshell, spiritism is the relationship of human beings with spiritual beings. Yes. Um, we, we also highlighted the point that we have two types of spiritual beings in our world. We have the spirit, of course, we have the, the good evil spiritual spirit. being, like right? Yes. So we have evil forces and we have good forces. Yes. Um, so we, we ask ourselves the questions, are Christians spiritists 
of how we spiritualists. <laughs> and um, I believe that um, we might be closer to the spiritualists because yeah. spiritists will really believe in religion. Yeah. But they believe that you know they interact with um, beings that are outside of the, the physical realm but in the spiritual realm. So I think we, we have um, a nice platform to build on. And also last week we mentioned that you know in our everyday life, you know, there are lots of forms of spiritism that persons can actually dabble in on going to themselves. Yes. And um, we just touched a little bit of yoga mm -hmm. and um, Today, we want to go a little more in depth in some of the local things that persons interact with, we talk about, probably jokingly, and even unknowingly. Mm -hmm. So we want persons not just to be able to have um, a, de a definition of what it is, but how do we identify it in our day-to-day -day practice? And by the grace of God, how can we be guided against them? Mm -hmm. And um, you know, stay on the, the side and the path of safety. Mm -hmm. um, there was something I wanted to share with us this week, um, as I did a little research on spiritism. You know, there are basically five rules or five basic tenets of spiritism. And uh, I just thought it was very interesting for, you know, viewing audience to, to, to be um, up to speed with that. Now, interestingly, although we might see spiritists as devil worshippers or devil people, they actually believe that there is a God. So they believe that there is a God. Um, they, they describe God as a supreme intelligence or the primary cause of everything. So to them, the force or the person who causes everything to happen or the most intelligent being, that's how they see God. Okay. So God is the source of wisdom. He makes everything happen. That's point number one. At least they have that correct. At least they, they have that correct. <laughs> um, so they believe that there is a higher power, higher than themselves. Um, for the Christian, we know that there is one God, not a God right. or an intelligence or force. The but we recognize him as creator, the God, the only God. Yes. Amen. Um, a very interesting point too, and I know viewing audience, um, I don't know what they think about that one. They believe that we are all spirits, and some spirits are created simple and ignorant, but they have to gradually develop and perfect themselves. Mm. Now, now when you think about that, it's similar like a Christian, you know? mm -hmm. when you just give your life to God, the Bible describes us as babes in the faith, who drink milk, mm -hmm. and when they talk, grow and develop it in solid food. Mm -hmm. So while the Christian would grow and develop, the spiritist also be believes that there are different spirits, mm -hmm. some of which are probably immature, probably you know not fully developed, and over time they go through the process of being perfected. Mm -hmm. And God also admonishes us to be perfect, mm -hmm. even as you know our Father in heaven is perfect. So we see that there are some similarities, yes. and uh, we get a point for the real. Mm -hmm. There is always a counterfeit that mm -hmm. closely resembles. Sure. Uh, point number three. The natural method of perfection is reincarnation. What is reincarnation? Anybody? I think that's where, like, if I die, right. I can come in the form of a different person right. or a different, like, element. Right, 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 <laughs> right. Very, very, very interesting, you know. And um, of you and audience, we encourage you to share your comments as well. So we're looking at reincarnation. And, and um, funny thing is, a lot of religions believe in that reincarnation. Yeah, you want to mention a few? Um, I think Catholics are mm -hmm. one. Hinduism. Hinduism as well. Mm -hmm. I think Buddhism. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. And um, even Hinduism, they believe that um, you, you would come back as an animal based on the life that you live. So if you were yeah. a very good boy, like mm -hmm. myself, you might come back as a nice animal, let's say a horse or, a big, or an elephant. But if you were not so good, you might come back as a dog or an ant, a little cricket, a mosquito. So based on the life you lived in the, your first life, mm -hmm. you will be rewarded with a body based on that. Mm -hmm. You understand? But the people who believe mm -hmm. in this reincarnation, I mean, is there, are they really thinking about any logic behind it? I mean, how is it that someone can reappear as in the form of an animal? Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, logically to us, it might not make much sense, but there are persons who, for, for example, um, there's a religion, we don't want to call any name per se, mm -hmm. they believe that if you die fighting the Holy War, then instantly you would come back and you would have countless virgins as your wife. So a lot of them would go to war with a smile on their face, knowing mm -hmm. that, hey, if I die, I'll get a, I'll my get reward is show <laughs> as soon as I die. Yeah. So these are some of the things that will drive persons to do what they do. They would have willingly strap a bomb to their chest, willingly die with, with, with that hope. 
So, in other words, it makes some persons fearless and to a point careless. Mm-hmm. You know, thinking that, hey, even if I die now, there is another life I'm mm-hmm. going to come back as. So even if I don't come back as a human being, I might come back as a horse, I might come mm-hmm. back as some other being. Mm-hmm. Right. So it, reincarnation really says that life is never ending. So in other words, life cannot die. Even if this body perishes, mm-hmm. they believe that the soul will be transferred to another being. Mm-hmm. You understand? So you can't kill life. True. Basically, that, that, that's what they believe. But um, as Christians, what do we, we believe on that? Do we believe that human beings are immortal? Of course not. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no. We are not okay. immortal, yeah. Is after Jesus comes again, we believe that this corrupt will put on incorruption That's and right. this mortal will put on immortality. Yeah. Yeah. So it's until Jesus comes again, then we become immortal. Yes. And it's not like we have an immortal spirit within us, like some religions believe. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, we spoke about this, we touched a little on it last week. Mm-hmm. But the, the, the how the human body is built is clay, and we have the breath of life, which is represented as the spirit kind of mm-hmm. and Jesus breathes into us and we become a living soul that's so right. our whole body the clay plus the, the breath mm-hmm. equals a soul that's right after we die mm-hmm. then the breath goes back to God mm-hmm. and the clay goes to the ground yes. yes so it just goes clay plus breath equal living soul yeah. living soul subtract breath equal clay. To the dust. <laughs> and, and enough for persons who believe that human beings are immortal I mean, the simple evidence, just check Lacqua. Yes. Just check Otto. Just check Wayne Funeral Home. Look at the, the death news. Um, people die every day. Mm-hmm. So we know that human beings are indeed mortal. We are fallible. So we would say that this is um, Satan's logic trying to confuse people. Mm-hmm. We, we, we will die um, before Jesus comes. If, if time does not come, we all will die. That, yeah. that, that's just the, the natural fact of it. The Bible also says it's appointed unto man to die. To die. That's After right. death, uh-huh. comes resurrection. That's right, mm-hmm. that's right. And that's, that's, that's the point of that one. Mm-hmm. That's one agency that will never always fail. Always business. Yeah, yeah because yeah. you must die. People always, always die. die. <laughs> they knew what they were thinking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And right now, persons are dying more than before. Mm. Maybe they should get into that kind of business. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Uh, Sister Alina is going to read the, the fourth tenant for us, the fourth belief of our spiritism. As part of nature, mm-hmm. spirits can naturally communicate with living people as well as interfere in their lives. Alright, so we want to ask our online audience, what do you think about that? Do you believe that dead persons or quote unquote spirits can actually communicate with us? Um, you know, I actually had a very interesting encounter with a new convert. Now, he was sick with, I think, prostate cancer. And uh, in a dream, he saw his dead mother. And his dead mother showed him the plant to use that could cure his illness. Mm-hmm. Now, interestingly, he found the plant, he used it, and he was healed. Oh. Now, what can we tell such a person? <laughs> can the dead communicate with the living? Um, now, we're just asking that you, the online audience, you share. Probably there, there is a scenario, an experience you had. Um, probably in a dream you might have seen someone, you might have felt a presence. What do you think? Mm-hmm. Hey, what, 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 what do you think? Um, for, so for those of us here, let's start with us. Mm-hmm. Um, have you had any experience like that? Like you, Some people might say they even smelled the perfume that their mother used to wear. They smelled oh. it in the house. They, um, in a dream, they would, she showed them what to do and mm-hmm. they, these kind of things. And people say that my dad is looking down on me, he's guiding me. What, what do we think about any experiences? I know of some persons who had seances and they like spoke to their dead uncle and so on. Mm-hmm. But I can like I can remember them saying that they smelled the perfume or whatever. Right. But they did see like a figure of them on the table and so mm-hmm. on when they were doing the whatever seance right. they would do. Right, right. And they actually like one of them had a dead son. Mm. And because it grieved him so much that his son died, that he always go to this place to do the seance to see his dead son mm-hmm. and speak to him, and it it said that it gave him comfort. Right, 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 right. And, and I mean, mm. it's hard to convince those sort of people that what they're actually seeing is not actually their yeah. son or uncle or whatnot, mm-hmm. because of how real the devil made it seem, mm-hmm. you know. Yeah, but. Rest assured, it is the devil that is at work, mm-hmm. and we have to stay far from that sort of thing because 
it is very dangerous and you will not go to heaven continuing that kind of practice. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, just a few friends joining us, we just want to say hello. We mm -hmm. have Angel Joseph. Yes. Londi and Lindy, we are watching your girls. We have Night Angel. Shalona Kado. Shalona. We have Louis Charles. Kelma Joseph. We have mm -hmm. Kathleen Williams from St. Thomas. We have Melin Charles. Um, we also have Jen Richardson. Mm -hmm. We also have um, Shanique Jones. She's saying, No, the dead cannot communicate with the devil. It is the devil and his angels. And um, she, she really brought me to the next point that I was about to make. Um, whether or not it looks like the person, it sounds like the person, it smells like mm -hmm. the person, um, they, they speak familiar language that only mm -hmm. you and them would know it is Satan and his angels that's there. That, that, that's the fact yes. of it. And just to prove it too, the Bible says the living know that they shall die, that's right. but the dead know mm -hmm. not anything. 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 Yeah. So they can't talk to you because they don't know anything. Yeah. So yeah. it cannot be your, your dead uncle or your dead son or whoever. Mm -hmm. You're trying to communicate with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't be deceived. I yes. know even again in the in the funeral service, you know, Sister Landa, you hear from time to time that person is in a better place. Um, you know, even when they would have died. And tonight we want to refute that. Um, when someone dies, they they are actually not in a better place. They're dead, they're in the ground, body started to decompose. But we believe that if they live their life that was pleasing to God, they will be in a better place when Jesus comes again. Um, so we just want to make that emphatically clear tonight. You know, in terms of the state of the dead. The yeah. dead, they are dead. <laughs> and they can no longer communicate with the living. Mm -hmm. If you hear mommy whisper in your ear tonight, say, get thee behind me, Satan. Mm -hmm. If you see a son or a cousin in a dream or you're feeling a presence there, we just want to let you know, beloved, that's not your family members, but it's Satan that's trying to deceive you. And the Bible warns us about seducing spirits. Mm -hmm. And I know people will be very susceptible to that. Imagine you have a loved one who would have recently passed. And you really want to hear them, see them for the last time. Mm -hmm. It's going to be easy, gullible, yes. to, to, really, to really believe um, that that's possible. So we want to be um, very, very careful with that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, mm -hmm. Alvin Thomas, first he said happy Sabbath from mm -hmm. the UK. And now he's making a point. He says... Though our soul may go to heaven or hell, our bodies remain on earth and are recycled, every living organism turns to soil after it dies, which is used by plants to grow. Mm -hmm. um, plants produce fruits and such, and animals eat the fruits and leaves which were grown using the nutrients from the recycled matter. So he's basically speaking of how the matter of our bodies mm -hmm. are recycled after death. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And um, while he's making a good point, just scroll back up a little. Um, we, we want to be able to, you know, we, we just share it tonight. We, we're not debating it anyway. Um, so, so the first line, we just want to address that Alwyn shared. And um, I just want to commend Alwyn for sharing tonight. We really appreciate your comments. Um, first of all, your soul may go to heaven or hell. Mm -hmm. um, now, when you die, you are no longer a soul. So we just want to state that their soul is actually a living person. Yes. Our bodies remain on earth and are recycled. So the soul and the body, they are one and the same. Now that's the first point, you know, we just want to add a little clarification there. Because the Bible says, when God breathed into Adam's nostrils, that man became a living soul. Yes. So a living organism and a soul, one and the same. Mm -hmm. So it's not when you die, your soul goes elsewhere and your body goes to the ground. Mm -hmm. The soul ceases to exist. Mm -hmm. um, now, from a scientific point of view, I think what Alwyn is speaking about it is the transfer of energy. Yes. Now, when I die, when we die, mm -hmm. yes, our bodies will decompose. Mm -hmm. Energy will be passed on to plants, even the, the worms that are going to eat our bodies. Mm -hmm. They in turn something might eat them, go back to the plants, and yes. so that's the transfer of energy, not life. Mm -hmm. So that that is different because a tractor yeah. can have energy. But that tractor is not alive. True. Um, and another thing to, to make, um, mm -hmm. he's also talking about the matter. Matter is made up of, is either solid, liquid, or gas, yeah. or exactly. different yeah. bows and all stand right. and so on. Right. So, like when our bodies decompose, mm -hmm. that matter breaks down into something and 
is contributing to something else. Yeah, yeah. It's not, it's, like you said, it's not life form going from one form to another. Mm-hmm. It's just the, the, the matter that is made up yeah, of the yeah. clay, the clay matter, yeah. mm-hmm. is just being used a different way yeah. instead of using, being used in our body. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. So it's not like a reincarnation. The reincarnation is talking about our living soul turning into another type of living soul. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So a reincarnation is not the proper term to be used to describe what happens after we're dead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. Beautiful, beautiful. Yeah. So again, I would really thank you for, for that comment. And I see you mentioned on, on a point of clarification. Uh, my apologies, this posting, so it, it was a late post. Mm-hmm. And he's saying um, his response was in, in terms of when we spoke of reincarnation when we was on that subject. But um, your, your post gave us a lot of food to you know, comment, um, a lot of food for thought. So again, we just want to say, um, life and energy, they are not one and the same. You know, when we die, of course, the energy will be transferred to and other life sources, you know, other life forms. Mm-hmm. But life it, itself it it ceases not. to exist. You know, so um, I, I think these are some very, very, very important points there. Um, point number five of Spiritism. Many planets in the universe are uninhabited. Are inhabited. That's what he's saying. Mm-hmm. Inhabited. So Neptune has uh, beams. Pluto has beams. Mm-hmm. And uh, what what do we believe as as Seventh Adventists? Do we believe that there are life forms on the other planets? Yes, we do. Yeah. We yes, do yes, believe we do. that there is life form on yeah. other planets. Mm-hmm. So um, if we see a flying saucer coming down, would we, do we believe in UFOs and aliens? No. And no. Yeah. But what do we believe? Are there people like us on the other planets? Do we know? There are. We do believe that there are beings on the other planets. Mm-hmm. Um, we don't believe the um the whole perception that man has created with aliens and so forth because right. you know mm-hmm. that's just their what should I say? The answer yeah, to yeah, yeah, yeah. so many questions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I think God has. Created in such a way that um, He has placed us here, and even if there is more to our universe, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. we are yet to, dis- to discover in due time. Mm-hmm. But until then, yeah. you know. And I know it's interesting, you know, so many movies about aliens. <laughs> I mean, there, there seems to be this conspiracy that um, Earth will come to a point, and it's the common theme of most movies now. Mm-hmm. Earth will come to a point where there is a need for intervention Mm -hmm. and some person or some superhero um some person who is not a human being with spider-man superman for Mm -hmm. the avengers justice league black panther and the sad thing about it is because some of them semi or demi gods right you understand Mm -hmm. so i mean you have to be very careful about what you associate Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. the word god too and you know, it, it becomes you now very easy for Satan to use even more ways because True. if we get so accustomed with superheroes, aliens, um, Satan might actually show up as an alien one day um, and people really? might look to that person as the savior, yes. the person to re- redeem us or save us from you know, the, the chaos mm-hmm. and the conflicts of this world. And um, you know, we have to be really, really careful because there seems to be an agenda for the end of the world mm-hmm. and um, man will get to the point where they, they're going to um, invent superhuman beings they're going to get out of control yes. all these machines and robots, robots and you know the biological experiments you know we, we have to be very very careful um i'm getting things. so close to that we can uh, like synthesize a human being with characteristics that we want just yeah. in the lab yeah. yes so we just incorporate yeah. the kind of genes if we want mm-hmm. to a mm-hmm. person with dark hair will put that gene on the within the chromosome within that egg mm-hmm. and sperm when it's the zygote we put whatever we want that characteristic of the person to be we could yes. uh, like genetically yes. modify yeah, yeah. Yeah. and that is again God's will of course yeah. I was even looking at this documentary where their scientists are creating a bio bag and they have a, a lamb in there you right, saw it right, right. and the lamb is like there and feeding in the fluid mm-hmm. and they are saying that the intention is to prevent all the aborted babies mm-hmm. or the babies that you know die mm-hmm. or the premature babies specifically yeah they put them in the bio bag and that child mm-hmm. gets to live in there yeah. until it is ready to live in the world mm-hmm. and, and you know eh, one thing that you know friends 
Satan does not have the power to do when he's angry. He can't give life. Mm-hmm. True. So we see scientists trying their best to clone human beings mm-hmm. um, to to regenerate different parts of the body to get rid of the, the, the faulty and pass it forward DNA they try and have, yes. but they will never ever be able to do it. They might replicate as close as possible, but man, Satan, will never be able to give life. So we, we have to also look out for, for these scientific experiments um, where persons are trying to, as you say, modify and try to lengthen life. No, that is not of God. God is the creator. Amen. He's the healer. Mm-hmm. He's the one that knows just how the body was made up of. And all these um, seemingly innocent forms of the intelligence and the brilliance of man might be showcased, but I believe that they are not of God. True. You know, there's a realm that man should not cross. Yes. I think we should um, address this mm-hmm. Salomon Sosa. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He said, Pastor, correct me if I'm wrong, but didn't Ellen White had a vision where God took her to a non fallen world and when she experienced it she didn't want to come to return. Yeah, that's right. That is correct, but I think the the place that God took her was to heaven. That's right, the New mm-hmm. Jerusalem. Yeah. Wasn't an, a non fallen world. Yeah. So yes, she experienced how the New Jerusalem when she saw the table, mm-hmm. she yes. saw the fruit trees and so on and after experiencing it, she that's doesn't right. want to return back to Earth. That's right, that's right. And I think um, Ms. White also indicates that there are actually um, planets, um, not planets, sorry, beings in the other unfallen planets. Yes. Mm-hmm. And um, even while we spend time with Jesus, spend time with God, yes. we'll have time to travel. Mm-hmm. We'll have time to learn and explore the different planets. Yes. And um, we, we don't believe that God in all his creative power will just create and inhabit Mm-hmm. One planet out of the nine. True, it's true. Um, we may not be able to go to the others and live there or dwell there. Man has been trying, but um, you know the, these are things that um, that lies in the realm of God. And in the sweet by and by, mm-hmm. we'll have a chance to ask God all yes, these questions. Exactly. Right. So and we have a comment there. Uh, so before we read the comment, to also back up that there might be well, there are beings on the planet. The text in Job, where the devil appeared amongst the people who came to God, and mm-hmm. the devil said, "I'm going to and fro." up and down so you're sp- speaking about going from different worlds before coming to earth right. at that point in time right so you could read it up in job around i can't remember the exact text okay 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 so let's take the comment before we have another item of special music alan states um i think it's important to remember that god is the creator of our entire universe that's right which is made up of hundreds of billions of planets That's right. for us to believe that our planet is the only one out of billions on which God created life is an insult to God's greatness, creativity and ability. Mm-hmm. And, and you know sometimes when science and um, the scientists do their exploration, mm-hmm. Earth is actually like a drop in a huge bucket, a huge pool. True. And there are many, many billions of stars and galaxies and all, all these things out there. And um, we only know about us, yes. but imagine what, what, what lies out there beyond the realm and the scope the imagination of man. So we have a lot more to learn. And, and um, think this, just mm-hmm. to give a, a glimpse of how large the universe is, like scientists use light years to describe how far one place in the galaxy yeah. is from the other. The other that's right, that's right. And to be ex- you know, a light year is traveling at the speed of light for one year. Mm-hmm. Okay. The speed of light is one million meters per second. Mm-hmm. So you can imagine traveling at one million meters per second oh, for a yeah. whole year yeah. to make one light year. Yeah. You know, yeah. far you go. Yeah, yeah, that, that, that's far. That's far, that's far. So, so, fr- so friends, we have a lot of food for thought. We just want to take a pause for a call. We're going to have um, an item of special music. And we hope that as you know, we did our first segment, that you would have had some time to chew on it, think about it. Um, you have some comments you want to share, a question you want to ask. We have more to share with you as a matter of fact. But stay tuned. Continue to keep your friends engaged. Continue to share. Pray for us as we discuss and as we share. Um, no pause as we will be ministered by an item of special music. Amen. Day to day, when 
put salt around your pillars. Right, right. Why? <laughs> to protect you from the liver from entering your house and stuff like that and right. rice. And and because it can't come this they have to take a lot of time to count each grain of salt. So oh, yeah, okay. that is why they okay. and because if they come each grain of salt like the sun will come out so mm -hmm. only the night ligger does normally come out and right, stuff like right. that. So anybody ever saw people putting salt or salt around their house or pillar or in front of their house? Any anybody? Ever know somebody who tried it? I don't think that is raining anymore, probably. Mm -hmm. Back in the days, it was prevalent, but no, I don't think it's much prevalent as yeah. back then. I heard a person speaking about their grandmothers doing it. Right. Like, right. Straight in my classes. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. I, I, I can't remember seeing someone actually doing, doing it. it. Right, right. No, when was the last time you ever heard somebody say that um, something held them down when they were sleeping and they were trying to get up? Yes. Me, that happened to you. That happened to you, yes, right? Yes, a lot of people say that's the yes. ligger holding it up. Really? Not yeah. really a ligger, but something just holding it down when it's sleeping mm -hmm. and you can't move. Like sometimes you can't even breathe and I don't know what is it, but yeah, 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 it doesn't yeah. happen yet. Yeah. Right. So, so just ask a, a quick question. Um, do we believe that as Christians, um, we should put the salt and the sand on our pillars um, do we believe that we should wear our clothes wrong side to chase out evil spirits? Um, do we believe that we should have garlic tied up? Do you think we should do that? No, I don't think so. So even if it's walking or anything, don't do it? I think it's all in the mind, you know. All in your mind? It's all in the mind. Um, it's like, I mean, Satan... Be before okay. we go ahead though, mm -hmm. I mean a lot of the people may not be from Greenland and they might not know what is a ligaru mm -hmm. and what is a sukunia yeah. or what mm -hmm. even is a baku. Yeah. I think we should define what are those kind of stuff so first those things, right. before we continue. So tell us, what, what is a baku? Well, a baku is like a short little midget kind of guy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> when you're talking to a single one body. like a little guy. A little guy. <laughs> Um, uh, ligaru uh, is something that flies in the night right. and sucks your blood at night. Yeah. Yeah. Right, right, um, right. Sukunya is a ball of fire that flies in the air. Yes. Right. And, yeah. and then Lajabless is a female who wears a long dress uh -huh. that has a cow foot and a human foot. Right, 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 right. So she usually <laughs> stays on the side of the, This is folklore, she usually stays on the side of the road just to get guys right. to follow her and then she will bring them off and throw them off the cliff. Right. That's what I'm mm -hmm. you know, you know, right, right. Yeah. So we just want to say um, happy Sabbath to Selma Baptiste, happy Sabbath from Davis, Rosemary, um, Molas, good night Pastor, we say good night to you. Um, Mayor Carrera, good night, watching from Jamaica. Yeah. Happy Sabbath Brother Jude, right, let's go down and we have hello Pokes Jude, mm -hmm. long time. And we have, um, we have again Nova Null. Get some holy oil and show it all the colors of your house. I, I think I heard about that. Um, interested. Shanik Main Jones says it's called sleep paralysis. That's what I was, I was just going to tell you. It is a medical condition yeah. where you call it's sleep paralysis. You can't. It's a form of paralysis that happens while you're sleeping. Mm -hmm. It's not something that is actually holding you. Though. I was going to tell you all yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, yeah. But, yeah. It happens to a lot of people. But, but it's, it's, it's so it's, real, it happens to me. It's not, yes. a, it's not a spirit, it's not anything yeah. along that line. It's, yeah, yeah. It's, but it's someone right. has cried, Jesus, Jesus, <laughs> yeah. And, and you see, God. that's what I say. When you call Jesus, it releases you. But I remember what happened to me. Eh? True. I was drifting into sleep. And uh, like my body shut down, like it was sleeping, yes. but my mind was awake. Oh, yeah. And I tried to call my mother in the next room. And oh, man. she can't hear me. Oh, yeah, I started to call her Jesus. Oh. <laughs> and after about that two minutes, you know, I, my body, I guess it became awake. Mm -hmm. And you know, many persons say that something holding them down, but I just yes. said, science explained yes. it. Yes. Your mind awake, but your body sleeping. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> So you see how 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 it is easy to put spiritist mm -hmm. things or connotations to so normal happenings. Oh. And you know something someone also told me. Um, at, at one of them told me that the same ligger. No, sorry, the 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 so, yeah. no the other one, the female the, 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 the What happened was like back then 
a lot of the males went out to party with other females mm. and the wives at home was getting jealous. So what they would do, they would pretend to look like something like that. Oh, to scare them. To scare them. Right. So that they wouldn't go out in the night and go and party with other females. Oh. Okay. That, that's one of the things that people say, but you know. Okay. There's always an explanation for certain things that you see or hear or certain things, but sometimes it never do do like appear as some of those That's right, that's right. And you know, um, we, we really don't just want to, you know, bring up these topics just to give you a laugh. But we, we want to be able to say, how do we interact with them? I would say, one, you would see what you look for. Now, many persons who believe in those things, they're going to see butter fire, they're going to see things holding them down, they're going to see larger bliss because your, your mind is open for it. True. So as a people of God, I, we, we don't encourage you to entertain those things. When you lie down to sleep, I mean, just seal the deal with God. Go, you know, pray. Enjoy your sleep. Have peace of mind. Don't be up, obsessing yourself with Lake Aru and Sukuya and larger bliss. And another mm-hmm. funny thing too is that, um, do, you be, do you know that it happens in other Caribbean countries, those same sort of stories? Yes. yes. And it doesn't happen in others? Right. Why do you think that? The, the, the stories that those things happened in larger Jess, Sukhumi and those, mm-hmm. it happened in French influenced countries. Yeah. Oh. I, I don't know the correlation though, but all French influenced countries have similar folklore stories. Mm-hmm. But countries that were not influenced by France, mm-hmm. France yes. they, they, they don't, don't have it. They have their own. Yeah. Well, there's a lot yeah. in Haiti. So something, you know, it is, you have to look at that too. I don't know. All right, uh, interesting. Solomon Sosa. Sister Linda, can you read that one? Can read that one? <laughs> I remember my mom used to tell me to do some of those things, even urinating on a shoe and drinking it so no woman could hold me. Mm. And the one about not pointing a grave because your finger will rotten. Mm. I also reminded her that a Christian don't believe in those superstitions because yeah. God is our protector. And, Amen. And, and I'm sure some of us would have thought about the um the wing eye fish. We <laughs> <can't> <laughs> that. You know when you go I have, when, I have tell all that. You know, when um, when you get um a fish that blinks <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah say, when the fish wing for you wing back at the fish, don't look at it. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like to talk about, but um, you know, at the end of the day, <laughs> yeah, you know, I never knew about that. Uh, just here, they are called the the kind the, the kind who will give put the, the woman men, the put the put in a plate to catch the men. Yes. <laughs> but um, we we want to again just bring back the point. Mm-hmm. Um, you will see what you look for. Yes. Um, point number two: whenever you want the enemy's ground, we open ourselves with influence. Mm-hmm. Um, so even if you, you would have heard that somebody quote unquote try to hold you or do you as we would say what go beyond you, mm-hmm. we would not encourage you know our brethren to go and dabble in those things. Yeah. As the topic says, dabbling in the unknown. But we, we go to God who is our protector, he's our guide, even as we handle those things. And yeah. um, before we wrap up, we also want to look at um, so another just a couple of the popular ones. We have the large and we have music. Mm-hmm. Um, what do we know about the large? Well, with the large, I know they practice a lot of high science. Mm. Mm-hmm. Explain. Why we buy high science? They have this, you know, rituals and so these practices, and it's, it, I think it's, it's like the members of the lodge, only them are exposed to the, the practices and so. Mm. And so it's secret. Mm-hmm. Right, right, right. And people in the lodge, they, they fear well with prosperity and so mm-hmm. because, you know, Mm. What, what time do you want to the larger than that? Well, actually, our family was discussing the larger this evening and we were talking about the recruit persons of high society. Mm. Yes, and probably their children, next generations. Mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. Yeah, as Alanda said, they feel well. Mm-hmm. And sometimes when they try to get out of it, mm. like, like costs does fall upon them, like right. they become like less yeah. fortunate, they lose everything they had and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. So it's like, you have to make sacrifices in order to pass for your life. Mm. Mm-hmm. What have you heard about the lodge? Well, definitely I heard that they recruit people in high, in high positions. Mm-hmm. One thing. And they said that in order to get up there, if you're not there, mm-hmm. you have to do some sort of sacrifice. 
in order to gain access to the lodge and go. They have different ranks as well. Mm-hmm. So you may start at the bottom and then as you continue doing the practices and so on, you'll go higher and higher in ranks. Yeah. I actually have, well, I won't call a friend, no. I don't know, but yeah. an acquaintance who is actually in the lodge right now as well. Right. And he's gaining ground from there. Yeah, yeah, wow. Yeah. And, so, and you know, for someone who just joined the lodge, you know, what we might see might sound package to them. You know, it's that innocence. Um, a lot of them refer to it as a brotherhood or a fraternity. Yes. Um, you know, um, as long you know, they identify themselves, they wear rings, probably they, their vehicle would have some kind of logo, insignia on it. And they would just describe it as we're looking out for one another. Mm-hmm. So if you need anything, we're here for you. You need a job, um, we're going to link you up. You need a house, you need to get you with a loan, and, and it starts like that. But gradually, as you go higher and higher, um, the, the evil side of it is would be more exposed. Um, no, we just want to make a reference from the Bible. Remember that Satan actually told somebody, if you did something, all these things I'm going to give to you. Yes. Well, who did that to you? Jesus. Jesus. That's right. That's right. And we see that even back then, we, we see all the forms of quote unquote the Lodge. Mm-hmm. It's like a partnership with Satan. Yes. Um, paying him homage and he's going to open the, the doors mm-hmm. so we can literally have, you know, anything that we want. Um, so, let's say you, you have a friend or we have friends who are lawyers, doctors, you, you are the upper echelon of society and someone approaches you to join that fraternity um, or this kind of secret order, we would advise them to do what? Join or no? Definitely not. Definitely, we, we don't join them. And we know that God is the one who shares the bread, He's the one who blesses us, He's the one that prospers us and no man. And we know that um, anything that Satan gives us always comes with a condition. As he told Adam and Eve, he will not surely die, but they did die. They ate the fruit, they enjoyed it for a moment. Yes. But the end result, it was uh, much worse mm-hmm. than just the, the temporary enjoyment um, of fruits. And the text to back that up as well, um, it says in the Bible, what does it profit a man to gain the whole world but to lose his soul? So it just doesn't make sense joining the lodge and getting everything that you want. Jesus will give you things that you need as well as things that you want. He yes. did say that. Yeah. If it is his will. Definitely. If he doesn't see fit to give you that, don't fight it. I mean, it doesn't make sense going against his will. He yes. knows the future. He knows what benefits Amen. you. Amen. Amen. Just leave and trust in him. Yeah. Leave it in his hands. Yeah. You know, um, there, there, there's another one. Um, it, it, there's a mind control and even, sorry, music and movies. It's called um, Mind Control. Mm-hmm. Have you heard about that? Yes. And um, we, we hear a lot of things like the MK Ultra. Anybody know about the MK Ultra? Mm-hmm. Um, it was um, it was like a kind of science experiment that um, the U.S. government was doing, mm-hmm. where they actually would program persons. Um, so let's say presidents um, or the high persons in society to get their agenda done. They actually had a way of programming them. Mm-hmm. You would have someone called a handle. So I would see a specific phrase to you, mm-hmm. and automatically you become programmed, and I will be able to get you to do things, say things, behave a certain way. And when we look at some of the musicians, we could actually see traces of a mind control there. Um, for example, I remember looking at an, an interview um, with a particular um, female singer, very, very popular. And she was saying, um, in the interview, she was very calm and, you know, docile. Mm-hmm. And she was saying, of my own, I cannot perform the way on stage that I usually do. And she was explaining that something takes over her. And she actually described that person's name. I think I will call the other name, Sasha Face. <laughs> takes over. And uh, you know, there's no denying it. Oh, also. We don't really want to call the name too much, you know, <laughs> because since we, 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 we're going on, we, we're live and for, for legal reasons. Um, yeah, so, so musicians have actually admitted it to mm-hmm. being empowered by another source. Yes. Um, some of them have actually admitted that they would have sold their soul to the devil. True. And a lot of them, they, they are miserable. Mm-hmm. Um, remember Michael Jackson, um, right before his closing days, you know, he released a song, I think they don't care about us. And uh, he was actually trying to, to warn persons. Um, he, he never came out and said that um, he was possessed or anything like that. Mm-hmm. So it is different than, than the others, but he was trying to warn people that there is some bigger agenda yes. than just music. And you, you have to be aware. Another one was saying, um, be careful what you sign. Mm-hmm. Um, some of them, they will say, you have to sign it, you're, you're miscontracting the blood, and, and, and all these sorts of things. So what we see as mere entertainment mm-hmm. um, is really deep and steeped in spiritism. Um, there's lots of evil, lots of spirit that is uh, propelling 
um, the, you know, the lyrics, the content. And when, when we look at nowadays music, what are some of the three or four popular things that you see in every music video? Mm. Six. Yes. Drinking. Drinking. Money. Money. So they don't really have uh, much wholesome content out there. It's just about pleasure. Yeah. Um, it's a lot of worldly and secular ideas. And they just package it differently. So you have soca in one way, you might have rap in another way, you might have R&B in another way. So there is a genre to suit everybody's liking. True. Oh, but that's from very interesting mm -hmm. about some music. Like, do you realize that the majority of the world, like in America, mm -hmm. they speak English? Yeah. Right? But one of the most popular music at some point in time was as a French language. Mm. Why are they so drawn to such, such as a um, Gangnam style? Mm. They have no idea what they're singing. Uh -huh. yeah. They don't know what they're dancing. Some of them just say they, they dance the catchy, so they do it. They, 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 they yeah. tune some catchy, so they sing. Yeah. Don't even know what they're singing. Mm -hmm. And another song like that hit the number one charts. No, it's not even in English again. I don't know why we drawn towards certain. Well, Things that are not understand, well, we don't understand. Yeah, it can make sense of it. We can make sense of it. So yeah, there is yeah. something that is on the line mm -hmm. in these things that is drawing us to it. Mm -hmm. And it's not that, yeah. Yeah, yeah, definitely. You know, so as we, we get ready to wrap up tonight, um, our time is fast spent. Um, we just want to share just about three or four guidelines. Um, how can we help persons to identify form of spiritism and stay away? Um, so we also, we said, um, what you look for, you want to get um, don't dabble on these things because you open up yourselves. Um, I would say simple. The Bible says whatsoever things are good, pure and true and on. So anything that goes against this, the, the thing of God, I would say that they may be channels of our um, spiritism. What else can we see? Well, um, I had a point here. It was um, regarding the whole fearful thing about mm -hmm. spirits. Mm -hmm. out there, you know, and the text that says God has not given us the spirit, spirit of, fear. of fear. You know, the devil wants us to feel chained, like mm -hmm. he will be one day when Jesus comes, and yeah. he has us like slaves, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. all his mastery, yeah. but yeah. one day, God will come to, mm -hmm. what would I say, redeem us of all this mm -hmm. evil that surrounds us, but yeah. at the same time, we have to be mindful that we don't fall prey to the traps of the devil. Yeah, yeah. So we should be fearful. Very well. Amen. Anybody else or, or viewing audience, what, what are some things that we can guide persons, you know, in terms of dealing with different forms of spiritism? So we have don't be afraid. I would say um, pray and ask God to guide you. And then he will tell you what to associate yourself with. Just in listening to his Holy Spirit. Some things you have to stay far away from. You may not understand why at the time, why God says stay away from it. But there's things that are done underneath. And you need to stay away from it. And God knows. We might not know. So just allow his Spirit to guide you. And I think everything will be okay in that time. And most importantly, let us remember that. His word mm -hmm. says that thy word is a lamp, lamp onto my feet and a light. So his word is our source of direction. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We should follow after it. Yeah, yeah definitely. And uh, also, we have to be always aware of the form of entertainment that we look at, movies, and mm -hmm. they might see the very entertaining, the African movie, yes. and you know, the, the, the horror, quote unquote, the thrillers, mm -hmm. where lots of spells are, are, are cast on people, and we see witches and different forms of gods. You know, many persons actually will become possessed by looking at them, they're living in fear, and you know, it forms yes. a, a lot of their belief now. So we really have to be careful what we feed it and what we feast our mind on. I remember that like, pop popular show back then when I was small in primary school, Pokemon. Everybody wanted to see this Pokemon yeah, yeah. And it was possessing a lot of children at our age and so on. And was, I remember times that like, our parents would say, don't look at it. And you know, when they turn their head or turn their back, they just... <laughs> I mean, it was catchy, it was interesting, but you know, the devil wants the mixed things that are evil and so attractive. 
So, so you have to stay away from it. You have to ask God to really help you to shun the appearance of evil. Amen. But but when you pray and ask God, He said that He'll put up a stand against it if the devil comes in like a flood. Amen. 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 Well, for me, I believe that these things were created to distract us from God, mm-hmm. especially us as young people, like sometimes we get, you know, caught up with the things of the world and we find ourselves di- distracted and we no longer pray and seeking God word so yeah. I want to, like, influence others to read the word of God and to pray to Him and stick closer to Him than ever before. Amen, amen, amen. So friends, so that we have seen that, you know, spiritism indeed is real. Evil is real. Um, we are not hiding from that fact tonight, but we know that God is even real if we want to describe God like that. And um, although spiritism might seem as a fearful topic, um, sometimes Satan really causes us to feel afraid and threatened, uneasy, you know, especially when persons are, are walking forms of evil against us. But God really has reminded us that, you know, we, we have to be of a good courage. Do not be afraid. God is with us. You know, even as Moses said to Joshua, God is saying to us, be strong and of a good courage. And as long as we are under the blood of Jesus Christ, none of these evils can come by our door unless God allows it. And if he allows it, it must be for a purpose. And he has already given us the strength. He already knows the end result. So at the end of the day, we are more than conquerors. And then it takes us a, a light to that gives me comfort and helps me not to fear of such evils and so on. He that is in us is greater than he that is in the world. Amen. So, I mean, there's nothing you have to fear because we have a higher power than the evils around us. Yeah, yeah. And um, another point, uh, we, we cannot love up Satan now and expect to pray against him. So we, we can't be listening and involving ourselves in all these practices mm-hmm. and then come to church and pray and rebuke Satan. He just going to laugh at us because our enemies can be our friend. So we, we cannot be on either side of the river, but we have to take our stand on one side. And tonight we are encouraging all of you, all of us, to take our stand on the side of God. Amen. Uh, at this time, we, we want to uh, close with a session of prayer. You know, there, there's a lot of pray for, a lot of needs. Uh, even right now, persons are the victim of evil, um, spells, and all, all sorts of phobia. Persons probably still living in fear. Um, probably persons might not have understood um, what, what, what the Word of God says. And as they would have gotten some light to that, persons are still queried, wanting to learn more. And we just want to you know, put these persons in the hands of God. Um, so, friends, we ask that you share your prayer request with us tonight. We are about to pray. We are about to, to go before the God of our God, the only God, um, the one who made us, formed us. Um, the universe is in the palm of his hands. He's the one that um, can eradicate the evil. He has already destroyed Satan and defeated foe. And that is the God that we will seek and find our refuge in tonight. Amen. Amen. All right, so um, while we wait on the request, Travis, tonight we're going to ask you to pray. We're just give him a, a, a prayer of thanksgiving. For the goodness of God. Um, Sister Linda, we're going to ask you to pray that God will simply forgive us and cleanse us from all forms of evil um, where we might have willingly and unwillingly opened ourselves to the influence of Satan. And um, Sister Alanda, when we get to you, we're going to lift up some of the requests that are coming in and we see some of our helpers. So we're going to start with Travis. Shall we pray? Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we come before your presence. Thank you, Father, for everything that you have done for us. Lord, we go day by day, not knowing the evils that surround us and not the things that are plotted against us. And Lord, we know that you always step in at the right time to protect us. Lord, we know that you have done, given us blessings throughout the week, protected us, guided us, helped us. Lord, even help us in our studies, Father. Lord, you know you put ideas in our, our minds to write. Lord, everything, where to go, how to do certain things, Lord, and we sometimes forget to thank you. But Lord, we stop and pause for a little while just to thank you, Father, for every, all the small blessings, even the big ones as well, that you have given to each and every one of us. Even breathing a life, Father, is a wonderful blessing that we should thank you every single day, every morning, every night for. 
but we pray, O oh Father, that you, we also thank you, Father, for the listening heirs who come night after, every Friday night to listen to your messages every single Friday night. But we thank you for them, and we thank you, Father, for protecting them, giving them the knowledge, the understanding, oh Father, that is what has been presented here. We thank you, Father, for helping us in our preparation as well. Thank you, Father, for helping us to always understand your word. Thank you for giving us your word so that we can read it and understand it. Forgive us of our sins. This is our prayer. Jesus Christ, the Lord. And amen. The heavenly Jesus, Father, from whom all blessings flow, the heavenly Despite what is happening all around us, the festive season, um, season enticing, tentative in many persons, we just want to thank you, God, for having this moment to connect with you. We thank you for this avenue that you have provided for us, whereby we can reach the world, of God, even through Facebook, even through YouTube Live on Club. Father, we just want to lift up our nation in a very special way. Uh, many at this time, oh God, have been swayed and influenced by Satan. And we know that many spirits are walking to and fro, God, seeking to devour souls, lead persons away, destroy souls, destroy marriages, um, destroy bodies, destroy minds. Um, persons will be influenced to do things that will forever change their life just for one day or for one night. Father, we pray that you will be with such persons who might be under the influence of alcohol, under the influence of sin and Satan. We pray, God, that you will intervene and stand up for them. And we pray that although how innocent these things may appear, we pray, oh God, that you reveal the evil that's really there to them. Tonight, God, again, we just want to thank you for second chances. And we thank you for tonight's program that challenges us to always stay on the side of safety and the side of God. Tonight, you have guided us in, you know, in terms of being deceived. And we pray, oh God, that we will be obedient so that we can enjoy the blessings that our Heavenly Father has in store for us. We also thank you for the Sabbath. We thank you for this grace, and we want to thank you for our show word of prophecy, oh God, that you have also blessed us with. Thank you for a successful stream tonight. Thank you for being with the equipment, our technical staff, our media team. Thank you for being with us, the host tonight. And we thank you for our viewing audience, oh God, who continues to grow and support what we are doing here. We just put this ministry in your hands, and we pray, oh God, that you will enlarge our territory. We pray that you dismiss us with your richest blessings. 
and all the on and the on express prayer requests that you know, our friends have today, whatever they may be, we really do pray, oh God, that you give air to this silent cries. Thank you, God, for your faithfulness to us tonight. In Jesus' is wonderful name we pray. Amen. 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 Now, friends, thank, thank you so much for tuning in. And before we close, we just want to give a couple of reminders of um, some of our activities that are, are happening in our conference. Um, I think tomorrow we will be having a, a youth day at Maranatha SDA. So persons in the vicinity, you might be interested in you know, enjoying that day with the young people and even the church on a whole. Um, that's located at Grand Dance. And we just want to invite you to be there um, if that's your desire. We also take this time to promote um, the massive evangelistic campaign that's going to be happening at Plain St. Patrick's, the, the rounds about, the northern and the northeastern districts. You know, they'll be having a grand crusade, um, a crusade that will be geared to teach persons from the word of God and give persons the opportunity to surrender their lives to God. You can't afford to miss it. So we're inviting all our members and our friends to pass the word along. Support with your prayers, your presence, and whatever else that you can by the grace of God. And that starts August the 19th, 7 p.m. sharp. Um, we also also promote our youth program that's going to be a whole day activity on August the 25th. Um, youth Life, this program will be celebrating by the grace of God our two year anniversary. Mm -hmm. And that's going to be a day of reflection, thanksgiving, and even encouraging persons to partner with us as we go forward into the future. And in the afternoon, we'll be having our grand Bible Connect finals. Um, it's a Bible study quiz where young people throughout the island will be, you know, having friendly competition and we'll be having a winner. And that person will be representing the constituency of Grenada at Trinidad, where all the other Caribbean young persons will be there to, you know, engage in the other stages of that contest. And we have Alanda, she's going to be representing the Southwestern Zone. So if you want to see Alanda and you want to support her, come out August the 25th at St. George's Church and we'll be having a grand time. Um, we also want to pause and, as we promote our pack finally that's upcoming September the 15th and I think that the theme is identity and uh, many of the pack finder clubs throughout the island will be celebrating on that day um, hosting the programs as we just you know remind ourselves where we came from who we can find our identity and our purpose in this life thank you so much friends for tuning in with us we have been blessed by your presence do enjoy the rest of the sounds.
may shine a light to a darkened world And always live the truth in every way May your love for me be seen by everyone And lead others to trust and love you more